full walkthrough tour at the Ocean Riviera Paradise in Playa del Carmen, Mexico. So what is going on, guys? Welcome back to my channel. I recently just stayed at the Ocean Riviera Paradise all-inclusive resort here in Playa del Carmen, and I had an amazing time. So I wanted to do one of kind of my most viewed videos, and that is the full walk through tour of the Ocean Riviera Paradise. I started doing this um, type of video because I would go to all these resorts and I would spend the first couple of days lost trying to figure out where I was, trying to figure out where things were. And I wanted to make things super easy for my viewers. So as soon as you guys get to the resort, you aren't kind of wasting the first couple of days like I do. And you know exactly where things are from the minute you get here. So every video, as you could see, I started from the main lobby and I I walk all the way through the resort. Right now we are in also the main bar area, which was honestly my favorite place to kind of sit and hang out. It was a fully stocked bar. This is a five star resort. So they also do have a lot of top shelf liquor, which I really, um, you know, enjoyed. <laughs> Obviously, if you're at all inclusive. So the layout of this resort is kind of almost like a straight shot to the beach, if you can kind of mentally um, think of it that way. From the main lobby, you are literally just going to walk all the way straight down, and you'll see in this video exactly what I'm talking about. But because there is so many things to do here and so many different restaurants, this tour is still going to be useful for you so you know exactly where everything is. So as soon as you get past that main uh, lobby and the main uh, bar, to the right, you are going to see the spa and the salon, which I am labeling a lot of stuff. And to the left is where you are going to find on the outside over here, your nightly entertainment, a bunch of the um, specialty restaurants, the theater, as well as the sports bar. So to our left right now is actually the Italian restaurant. And then to the right, right over here is Mike's Cafe and also an ice cream parlor. So I really, liked Mike's Cafe. The coffees were really great and they all day long, they're open from 7 a.m. until 11 p.m., have uh, donuts, sandwiches, paninis, muffins, croissants, uh, cupcakes, so many really yummy uh, sweet treats. And again, the coffees were really great. They also had iced coffees, they had frappes, so there was a lot of stuff. So this main strip here to the left is going to be another restaurant. And then to the right, as you saw, there is a game center where, um, you know, the teens can go and the kids can go play some games. I am going to be doing a full video about all the amenities for the kids. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you are subscribed and liked. And then over here to the right is where you are going to find any of the um, stores that you might need. And there is a small pharmacy just in case you forgot something i ended up having to go and buy mosquito spray um as you can see the weather is a little um cloudy and it did rain earlier that day so unfortunately there was a lot of mosquitoes so i ended up having to get mosquito spray but don't be you know deterred or you know get sad about the weather right now guys it didn't last very long at all uh for me though for filming purposes this actually worked out in my benefit instead of walking around in that hot Mexican sun trying to get this video for you. So the weather worked out for me, but don't get upset that you see clouds in the sky because 95% of the time in Mexico, in the Mexican Caribbean, the sun is um, out all the time and you get beautiful weather all the time. So as you can see, we went straight 
And I am, like I said, I have everything labeled also in the video so you know exactly where things are. To the left of where we are right now is the, um, we are going to be coming up to the children's section. And to the right is where El Beso is, which is the adults section. So again, as I said, it's a straight shot. Now, the thing that I didn't really realize when I first um, booked the resort was that everything has different sections um, when it comes to the buildings and certain and specific amenities. So the main buffet and all the main uh, specialty dining restaurants and the cafe that we passed and the ice cream parlor and all that other stuff, everyone has access to, but each specific um section or building is completely separated from one to another so on the left right now is where daisy is and that's where the kid friendly um, section is has a lot of kids amenities and then to the right is el beso which is the adults only section and on the left side of daisy not only is the buildings um you know it's that section of the building but they also have a burger uh, place there for lunch and then on the right where El Beso is there is a separate snack bar that only the people in El Beso can go to but El Beso you can also go to the burger place I am going to be making another separate video about the El Beso adults only um, section the amenities that you get and why if you're only adults only the upgrade might be beneficial for you I ended up doing the upgrade and I also got the swim up I am doing separate videos for that so again make sure you are subscribed if you are interested in finding out about those amenities so but that is one thing that I didn't really know before I booked is that it's an entire resort but within the resort each section um, and each building is separated so it's not just one giant um, you know building with all the rooms that I have um, been to and on top of it each separate section having its own pool having its own amenities having its own little snack bar or food which I mean I did actually like for the simple fact because this resort is so big um, you know, it's nice to not have to go too far because as you can see here, there is a trolley that will bring you all the way from the front to all the way down to the beach or anywhere else that you'd want to stop by. I do want to say though that the trolley was very slow getting anywhere and it's almost like how are you lost or where have you gone? <laughs> I was waiting like 15-20 minutes for the trolley at one point and at I, I ended up walking <laughs> because for me, the time that I was just spending there waiting for the trolley to get there, I ended up taking that same amount of time to get to where I wanted to go. But I understand if you're tired, you know, if you're uh, uh, older, if you're older, excuse me, if you're pregnant, stuff like that, if you have an injury, you obviously cannot walk the entire resort every single day. So that still might be beneficial for you to wait for the trolley. For myself, I am able-bodied and I was able to walk, so I ended up doing that. That was probably my one kind of little pet peeve though, is the times where I was just really like hot from the sun and wanted to jump on the trolley. Uh, you know, it does take a very long time. And that was one complaint that uh, I kind of was uh, hearing quite often from, from people. So right now we are actually past El Beso to the left, which again, I have things labeled, was the premier exclusive section. Right now, this is another section where there is the specialty dining. You will find the steakhouse, you will find the Mexican restaurant, and then you will find Terraza, which is like a live dining experience. I ended up not being able to make it to Terraza. I really wanted to. Uh, the one night that I, you know, I said, all right, I'm gonna go there. It ended up being closed. Um, you know, just so you guys know, the specialty restaurants are not open um, every single day each restaurant has a day off which I did not know that so in my mind I had kind of planned out what I wanted to do and it just didn't work out that way I am having a video coming up of all the food at the Ocean Riviera Paradise Resort so again make sure you're subscribed um, so that was a little bit of um, I don't want to 
was an inconvenience. It just, I didn't know. So right now, again, it's still a straight shot. So the left is still that premier exclusive section. So this is like almost, you know, I guess what you would kind of consider like a black diamond. It's like the top tier upgrade that you can do here at the Ocean Riviera Paradise. They have their own lounge that you can go sit at and it's right across from Eden. So this is the Eden building and the Eden building actually we just walked past it has a creperia which is um, you know its own little snack bar which they make crepes and waffles there. They're crepes I'm not gonna lie I grew up on crepes they're not crepes, it's more, uh, you know, pancake batter that have they flattened out. <laughs> but that doesn't mean I did not get a Nutella banana one, because that's still uh, my favorite flavor combination. The waffles were really, really good, though. Probably my favorite uh, between the two, surprisingly. And um, the Eden is actually also the building that is the closest to the beach. And this one, I feel like, always had a party going on. So I originally was supposed to stay in the Eden. And then when I went to check in, I ended up upgrading to El Beso because I, you know, am just an adult. I didn't have any children with me. And the bonus amenities that they had for El Beso, I did want to take advantage of them. So I did upgrade. But Eden, after I had walked past it and I saw that it was the closest to the beach, it, and that it always had, you know, a party or something going on over there. Uh, the entertainment, I felt like, was really great at the Eden. Um, you know, I kind of did second-guess myself about that, if I should have or not. As you can see now, I've been walking for a while, um, you know, and the trolley just made it back now. So, again, it, the trolley does take a little bit of time. I really loved the beach section here. Um, you know, for the simple fact that it not only has a beach, obviously, but they actually have another pool here. So this was like a really, really nice surprise when I got to um, the beach. And it's not, you know, anyone can come to this pool. You don't have to be part of the premiere or, you know, only be in the El Beso section anyone on the resort had access to this pool which was really really nice um and you know everyone was playing volleyball and it just seemed like a really really great time and there is definitely enough seating area here at the beach which i really uh you know appreciated as well a lot of the times when you come to these resorts there's not that much seating area at the beach people are leaving their towels from early in the morning which i do want to say at um, the pools they do do that so just a heads up if that's what you guys kind of want to do make sure you put your towels down kind of early i understand why they do it it's just you know if that if you're not accustomed to that and then you wait until after breakfast you're never gonna get or you know you're really not you're not gonna even get a a chair by the pool so i did like that there was a lot of um, beach chairs and stuff and on the pool they have beach chairs and umbrellas on each side of the pool on the beach so on the right side and the left side right now we are walking towards what would be the left side of the pool once you get to this section and there is also a restaurant that is right on the water it is the seafood restaurant and that is one of like the best views you can get it is right on the water as you can see you can see the people ahead sitting down so you have ocean view and eating seafood so that was really nice and this is the end of the tour we have come from the start until the end and now you know where everything is thanks so much for watching guys please like subscribe and i will see you soon